Hey guys and gals, Dustin here again with another message from the CEO. Today I want to talk about the importance of remembering the business and industry side to what we do. I think a lot of people want to just start going after living the dream. Hey, I'm a filmmaker. I'm going to do this. But it's called show business for a reason. Film industry for a reason. That's because it is structured in a manner to where profits are important to be able to do what we do. Now, we don't make films to make money. We make money to make more films. But in order to make the money properly, you have to do it the right way. You have to do it legally. You have to make sure everybody is being compensated and taken care of the right way. So first and foremost, I would highly recommend that if you want to start your own production company and or studio, the first thing you need to do is research, do your homework, and find a solid entertainment attorney that can help you get it off the ground. Consulting with that entertainment attorney is going to help you decide what type of company you want to be. Do you want to be a limited liability company? Do you want to be a partnership? Do you want to be a corporation? If you're a corporation, what type of corporation do you want to be? All of these things are crucially important before you even pick up a camera and think about starting your project. Once you decide what type of a company you want to be, then you've got to go ahead through the whole process of forming that company, setting up your office, getting all the required files, getting all the required paperwork, making sure that if you're going to rent office space, that you have a business license to operate within the city that you're operating in, making sure you have a building permit to be in the building that you're allowed to be in and conduct business. All of that's crucially important. And trust me, I've seen so many times in the past where people don't have that and they're literally operating illegally and you never want to operate illegally. Now, I'm not saying that this isn't a live the dream, creative, fun, just awesome atmosphere, but it is a business and you have to remember that. So no matter what you do, once you get it all up and running, right? Once you found your entertainment attorney, you decide what type of a company you want to be. You do all the formation. You're good to go. You're legally set up. You've got an office. You've got all your paperwork. You're good. Now we're going to start on the projects, right? Well, obviously from the very inception, say film, unless you're writing that screenplay yourself, you're likely going to be getting that screenplay from an outside source, which means optioning and purchasing that screenplay for the rights to be able to make that film. That requires contracts, an option purchase agreement. Another reason why an entertainment attorney is so valuable when you are trying to do what we're doing in this industry. You need to know how contracts are structured because everything from the purchase of the screenplay through the development of the screenplay, through the production of the screenplay, and through the end process of post-production and getting it out into theaters and distribution and or streamers all requires contracts. Everything from actor deal memos to SAG signatory contracts and, and, and director's guild and, and crew contracts and directors, um, everything requires a contract to make sure that everybody is getting paid properly, everybody is receiving the proper uh, details of what they're expected and what's expected from us, how we're going to deliver it. Insurance. Insurance is such key uh, tool in making films. You'd be surprised how many people go onto a set, have no insurance, and if something happens, uh-oh, the film's not protected, your crew and actors aren't protected, you're not protected from liability. You never want to get into a situation like that. Um, beyond that, getting into the room, making your pitch, finding out if you're able to get it into distribution, all of that is business-oriented. A lot of times you're walking into an office or a boardroom and you're sitting in front of numerous people trying to make that pitch or sell your product. Say you get to the point where you've already have it and it's in the can and it's good to go and you're trying to sell it. That requires some skill sets that, that you may or may not have that you might want to find somebody who does have those skill sets if you don't. Remember, business is key into making all of this happen. Now, I'm not saying that you don't want to pick up a camera and shoot stuff. Of course you do. You just want to make sure that while you're doing that, before you do that, after you do that, you have all of the business aspects of it in place. So that's my little advice today. I just wanted to pass that along because I feel like a lot of people forget that side of it and it's crucially important to not forget that side of it. 
That being said, pick up a camera, get out there, go after the dreams and have some fun because in the end, it is all about having fun and living the dream and doing what you love to do. Have a passion, have an excitement for it, but don't forget the business side of it, okay? All right, until next time, guys.